Answer tap tap, and guess who just started recording without having the mic being on? <laughs> Fun. Anyway, so this week I already have an Abyssrium video out. The um, the Halloween event updated and is now way less painful. The fall fish have new, less bad requirements. Um, there's a separate video for that, so you know, full details in that video or in the written guide. The only thing I missed. You are loud. Um. I, this is my first time playing this game with sound, actually. I only ever played on my phone. This is Azure Lane, by the way. I'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, I, um, they improved a, little, a lot of stuff, and the, the guide's been updated. The written guide has all the new unlocks. I didn't get all the unlocks in the video because I didn't know they were changed. So, uh, as always, the written guide is really the, the, the best way to check stuff out, in my opinion. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much the base for the week. Um, already did a video. Um, so I've been playing this game because in just a little bit, in fact, I just got this for the, um, I just put together a thumbnail. So I have this promo art from them. Um, there's going to be a Neptunia crossover, which I never wanted to play. I never really got the appeal of the Boat Ladies games. It was just apparently there's multiple Boat Ladies games. And so this is not the first Boat Lady game. But the second Boat Lady, this is the Chinese Boat Lady game. The other one is the Japanese Boat Lady game. Very different Boat Lady games, obviously. Do not mistake your Boat Lady games as a cardinal sin in the Boat People. In Boat People culture, that is considered a dick move. Um, but yeah, there's a Neptunia event, crossover event, starting um, Thanksgiving Day, apparently. So I won't be streaming on Thanksgiving Day for, uh, you know, obvious reasons. Um, but Friday, after Thanksgiving, I will be streaming this, um, 12 o'clock my time, my usual live stream time. There'll be a link in the description, as always. I also have, am making a guide for the event. There's already some info out from the Japanese release, but um, I'll, I'll try to make that a nice little guide for those of us who only played this game for the Neptunia crossover, like me, so you know, you can get quick started and uh, hopefully get the characters. The characters are Gashapon, so I might not get the people I want and just like rage quit the game forever because I only wanted it for that. But yeah, they're... Um, the, the four main CPUs are all in there. Neptune, Vert, uh, Noir, and Blanc are all in there. And so are the HDD forms of all of them. So the HDD forms are... The, uh, ow, my ears. The, ow. Okay. That, this game... Really loud. Um, okay, how about that? That's better. Um, wow. Like I said, I'd never played this game with the sound on before. I always, I've only played it on my phone. I always feel so bad for people who make music for mobile games, because like, <laughs> ninety-five percent of people are almost never gonna hear your music. Um, but yeah, uh, the the four main characters in there. So are the HDD forms. The HDD forms are super rare, which is the the top rarity tier, and the one I've never gotten a single super rare. In the PvP, everyone has like ten super rares, and they're all maxed out. And it's like, is everyone just a whale? I, like I, that probably it just is the case. But yeah, I've never gotten any of them. In fact, let's let's take a quick look at PvP. I swear it's just loaded all with whales. See, t two of these, um, oh, surprisingly reasonable team. Now we're talking, see, f five, uh, four super rares, um, most of which are five star, you know. Now these other ones are more reasonable. And by reasonable, I mean everyone has 2,000 more, or actually 4,000 more battle power than I do. So like all of the PvP is completely impossible for me to win and is just crazy beyond unfair. Like this dude is like 10 ranks above me. But I don't know. And I'm on like the, the most recent server so it like should be easier I, I think. But uh, whatever it's dumb. Um, it's a grindy gosh upon game. I, I'm not as surprised to see stupid bullcrap, and if I don't get the characters I want, I probably will quit it. It hasn't been that bad. Uh, I do like, I was surprised it has like this kind of shoot 'em up style gameplay. Um, depending on your ships, they're very slow. Like, um, this is a team of heavy cruisers, so obviously they're not the most agile. 
Um, if you have a bunch of smaller ones, they're a bit faster, but your hitbox is so big, and you're playing on a phone still and stuff, so... It's really not like a full-fledged bullet hell kind of thing. You don't... You're gonna get hit. It's not really a thing where, like, getting hit or not is purely dependent on skill. Especially with a full party of heavy cruisers. Um, but... It's... It's... This is more gameplay than I expected, basically. I thought the original one, the the Cancole, uh, I thought that was like, like turn-based art. I don't, I don't know. It was like a card battle game. I don't, I don't know how it worked. These kids and their boat games. I just, I just want the Neptunia characters. So yeah, there, there will be a live stream of that. Um, I do try to play and like show off the the Neptunia games. That is one of my favorite series. Um, so. <laughs> I was trying to stop. That's that's one of the other things I was gonna go over in this video. I, I kind of stopped playing most of my mobile stuff, and I pretty much I do my daily tasks in Food Fantasy, um, Abyssrium I update when there's events, and otherwise I don't play. Which that's been what I do for over a year in that game. Um, Star Ocean, I try to do my daily stuff, and that's about it. Um, and then I started playing this just because of the, the, the Neptunia stuff. I'll be. What are you doing, Parker? I'm recording stuff. I don't know what he's trying to break. Um, Parker! You were weird. Leave that alone. Leave it alone. He attacks the humidifier if I turn it off, which I tried to do for videos. Because, you know, I'm sure you can hear it now. I don't know what his deal is. He tries to break it, and I need to get like a heavy humidifier that's like cat proof. Yeah, did you got any of them cat proof humidifiers? But yeah, so this game hasn't been that bad. It's definitely, I see some clear wailing. Um, I have not been impressed by the Gashapon rates. Um, I, it doesn't seem super miserly in terms of things like. You can do Gashapon pulls more often than you can in, say, like, Makai Wars. But, uh, yeah. It's it's alright, but I, I wouldn't keep playing it if it didn't have a Neptune thing. Like I said, if I don't get, like... Um, Neptune and Vert you can get for free in the event. Um, my goal is to get Greenheart, Noir, and Blackheart. If I can get at least Greenheart and one form of Noir... Um, I think that may be enough, considering I get the other two free. Um, obviously, bonus for everybody that I can get, but I won't be super busted up if I don't get uh, Purple Heart or whatever. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just see what we get, I guess. Yeah, link, link to the stream will be in the description. I forget if I said that. And I'm also making a guide. I think I did, yeah, I did say that. Um, this game's surprisingly, like, less historical revision-y than I expected. Like, Ken Kole, a Japanese game, um, it's very rosy depiction of World War II and, like, it's, like, supposed to be alternate universe and, like, but, like, the Japanese ships are the good guys and if you know your history, it's maybe not the most accurate uh, interpretation of events. But this game, I mean, it's by... It's by Chinese devs that have a little bit less incentive to whitewash the Japanese, you know, war crimes and such. So, uh, the, the, the story follows much more closely. You know, it's, you know, abstract and stuff, but it's a little bit more clear who the good guys and bad guys are. I always, that's something I always was like, that always really grossed me out, honestly, about the original thing, that Cancole thing. It was like, there's some really squicky stuff in there. It's like, ugh, I'd rather not play. You, you can still, unfortunately, play as some of the Japanese, um, you know, atrocity committing ships. Um, you know, the, the main one from, main aircraft carriers from Pearl Harbor here. But um, they're not really as glorified, so it's less bad. But uh, anyway. Um, otherwise, I've been playing... Um, lots of Yakuza Kiwami. I just finished that up last night, and I mean literally I, I beat the game credits rolled and I went to bed because it was getting pretty late um, 
And that, that, that game, Yakuza is fantastic. I can't believe that Sega was like, oh no, we don't need to localize that game. Like, Sony had to pay for the localization of Yakuza 4, was it, or something? It was like, they, Sega didn't want to bring it over, and so Sony was just like, nah, we're gonna do this for you, because you're stupid. So... Glad that happened, and glad Yakuza Kiwami happened. That's the... It's like PS4 and, um... It's like the PS4 remake. Or it's like a... Enhanced remaster, like it's... It's clearly still originally a PS2 game, but there's a lot of graphics that have been really touched up and look really good. So it's a little bit better than a remaster. Shut <laughs> up, Portland. Exactly. That's... Pfft. Uh, the, the squeaky voice you've been hearing is Portland, and she likes her sister very much. And the one very mad at her is, is Indy. Indianapolis, her quote-unquote sister. <laughs> Their excuse for that is like, um... Is, um, you know, ships in the same class are sisters, quote-unquote. I think this is one of the assholes from Pearl Harbor here, by the way. Akaki? Agaki? Akagi, yes. Um, was one of the, I think the, the, you know, main platform of Pearl Harbor. It just went boom. Just like, uh, just like in the real world, so, uh, th this game has like, I think, oh hey! I have you. I have, this is one of those games where you have to get dupes, which I hate that mechanic. But it's less bad because you can get them as regular drops. Yes, stop squeaking over my voice, please. Um. So I get to power up this unit now. So th that's kind of cool. But the problem is with events. Like, I have to save my Gashapon currency for the events, and that's what I'm worried about, is if I can't get drops of the the, uh, the Neptunia girls from without Gashapon, th that makes me a little bit worried, because I, I refuse to spend money for Gashapon bowls and stuff. That's always such a super scam, but hopefully, hopefully I'll get lucky. We'll see. Anyway, I... This game, I wasn't supposed to talk about this game. I was supposed to talk about Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza, I loved it. Expand my dot. Oh, come on. I got too many people. Um, cool, enjoyable gameplay mechanic, by the way. Uh, I, I, this game's better than I thought, but it does definitely have some annoying stuff in it. Um, what was I saying? Where's Charles Osborne? There we go. Um... But, uh, yeah, Yakuza was great, and I I was expecting, like, I there's six games plus Yakuza Zero. There's seven games in the main series, I guess. And um, I was expecting it to, like, drag on and, like, have, be Sequel Hook City, basically, for the first game. And it really wrapped up pretty dang well, a lot better than I was expecting in the first, um, at the end of the first game. So I was pretty surprised with that. Hi, Parker. Hi. Indy's one of the one I've been using the most. Um, moo. Moo, 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 moo. Moo. Um, what was the time? Oh, yeah, Spyro. I, I wanted to stream Yakuza. I guess maybe it's a little bit late for that now because I, you know, beat the game. But um, it was really good and. You know, I, I might stream. I, I might get Yakuza 0. I might not just yet though because like, I don't want to burn out on it because I did just play a lot of Yakuza I pretty much you know went through it in a little over a week and it was my first Yakuza game I really loved it but there's a lot of side stuff that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do max out firepower it's am I doing anything wrong in this game by the way it seems really hard to level up reload I don't know if I... I asked him to stream. I, I always figured I was like the only bush person in the world not playing these Boat Girl games. And then I was asking in the last live stream if anybody knew the game like and could like help me out a little bit. And nobody played it. I was like, oh, of course. The, once I finally pick one of these things up, no one, no one plays it anymore. That's <laughs> expected. Um... Yeah, so that's been Yakuza. Um, Spyro, I had such bad luck streaming Spyro. Uh, really, it's a really great remake, and it's really accurate, like, gameplay-wise. Uh, I think glides in Spyro 1 are slightly harder than they used to be, but it may just be my skills being rusty. Uh, I beat Spyro 1 yesterday and had a blast. Or was it Saturday? I, I beat it pretty recently. Um... 
And the, the trophies are pretty cool in those games. Um, there's some little extra things that you can do that they put in. They're called skill points, kind of like Ratchet and Clank. And you can unlock some, uh, some, like, uh, production art, concept art in the game. So it's a cute little addition. I always like when there's little additions like that in remasters. So yeah, I've been... Despite me playing this, like I said, I'm only playing this because of the Neptunia crossover. I was trying to cut down on all my mobile stuff so I could focus on... I got a bunch of regular games. Uh, I got a stack of PS4 games right over here to my immediate right. I need to get to some of that. Uh, I got a bunch of g games I wanted to do videos on. And so I'm kind of taking a break from the mobile stuff, taking a break from... Um, um, from streams as well. So there's going to be less streams this month. I'm still going to be streaming, like I said, Friday. I'm going to be streaming, um, I think it's December 1st is our next patron live live stream um, chat. And we might do a drinking game for that one again, because that was really fun. So if you're not a patron yet, the way it works is anybody who pledges any, do any dollar amount, um, even just a buck, as long as you're an active patron on the day of the live stream, you can join in, you call in, in a voice chat in Discord, and all you need is a microphone and the ability to watch the stream. And that's basically, watching the stream is basically optional, but obviously it helps a lot. But all you have to do to participate is have a, a voice chat with us. So, you know, if you got a phone, you're covered. So you, you come in and we play Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. It's a board game. And basically I just roll the die and if there's a decision that your character needs to make, I'll ask you. Um, it works really easy even without, you know, if you never played it before, you can totally hop in. Um, we do a drinking game where if something bad happens to your character, you take a drink, or you, everyone's assigned die. And when you get a die, when a die rolls and matches your die, um, you have to take a drink. So, and obviously the drinking game is optional. If you're a minor, don't do it. Uh, if you don't drink, you don't have to. Or um, somebody drank seltzer water and they hate seltzer water. So if if you want to do something like that, like if you want to like get like a just a big raw romaine heart and just bite into it like a corn on the cob. Or, you know, something stupid like that. Feel free. Or just, you know, play the game like normal. You don't have to. Um, but that's that, that was really fun last time. So I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to stream. And we do that the first Saturday of every month at 12 a.m. Or 12 p.m. my time at noon. Hi, Parker. Mew. So that's coming up. And, yeah, I just need to... I just kind of needed to take a break. Um, finish some stuff, and I've been enjoying myself. Like I said, Yakuza was fantastic. Really enjoyed playing that. Um, Spyro has been really good. And I have a bunch of other weird little games that I need to get to and do some uh, videos on. I've been kind of behind on doing regular videos. I did a lot of streams, and I enjoy the streams too. But Medicom makes it very unfun. In fact, the Medicom guy was just here yesterday, and I had to... He did such a crappy job. He was, like, lying to me and stuff. Uh, he just did such a bad job. I had to tell them on on Twitter that hey, could you not send that guy next time? Because he did not know what he was doing and was kind of an idiot and a jerk and like, it was really bad. It was honestly the worst I've ever. I've seen like every technician they have at this point. I, they've sent like, it's been over a dozen times this year alone. Um, and I've met all of them now, and this guy is not good. Uh, but pretty much that's the week. Um, some actual work has been going on in my house, which is just a freaking Christmas miracle. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll get my second floor that I was supposed to have six years ago at some point. But yeah, my house has an unfinished second floor, and it was... Ugh, get your tail on my face. It's supposed to be the landlord's, like, you know, number two or three priority, you know. Just a little bit, you know. You'll just wait, you know, just a few months. It'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. Blah, blah, blah. It's, that's, that's the whole stupid crap don't even ask um but yeah generally things have been great just maybe a little bit less content here on youtube just to chill and relax but um you know everybody needs to recharge sometimes there'll still be streams there'll still be if something big happens in abyss stream or food fantasy i'll still stream and i'll probably be starting to record some videos over this nice long weekend hi parker I was trying to think of some Thanksgiving-related games. I was thinking of doing um, Night in the Woods. If anything is fall-related, Night in the Woods is. But I figured, you know what? I should take a break. And then the Neptunia crossover thing happened anyway. And I have to stream on Friday. But that, that should be fairly quick. Uh, whereas Night in the Woods is like a 12-hour game. 
or like 10 hour or something. It, it would be multiple streams, multiple very long streams. So that's it. I don't want to dedicate to that right now. I do want to stream Night in the Woods. I will stream Night in the Woods at some point. By the way, part of the reason I, I've been able to play this game is just the, the auto button is a lifesaver. I've, if you haven't noticed, I have not been actually playing <laughs> The game. The, the best kind of- if you're gonna make a grindy, you know, annoying free-to-play game, at least have that auto button, you know? I do appreciate that. That's pretty much the only reason I still play Bakai Wars 2, is because I can just pop in, use my stamina in like 10 minutes in a loop on auto, and leave. It's such a low time commitment. I like that in a game like this. Yeah, that's pretty much the week. You got any final comments, Parker? I see. Thank you. Um, speaking of comments, I mentioned this in the Libstream video, but let me just say, uh, I read all my comments, and I want my comment section to be something that people feel like they can post a comment in there. It's not just screaming into the void. It's not just a trash fire. So if people post first comment or just like random garbage, um, that's gonna be removed, and you might get a ban if it's just like obvious low-effort trolling. Um, I, if I just decide that, hey, I'm not getting any benefit from you posting comments on my channel, uh, you might just have to leave. And it has to be like that because I want people to read my, the comments on my videos and be like, hey, I did not waste my time here, people having an actual conversation here. So, please do feel free to comment. Um, I really do appreciate commenting, it's one of the most, you know, uh, important things you can do on a video to kind of help it out. I know a lot not everybody can subscribe to the patron and you know Donate actual money, but if you can't do that one of the biggest things you can do is just you know Like share and comment on videos because it really does help with YouTube's you know big spooky algorithm and all of that crap But make it a real comment. Don't just be like first Because I read every comment and I want people to feel that my comments are a place where they can actually discuss the game or topic at hand and not just feel like they're in a pit of like poop flinging monkeys. So, you know, fling some nice, reasonable comments, not poop. You don't need any poop, okay?